this is Desiree and today I am going to continue with my currently inked this is currently inked part two um, I went ahead and uh, washed out some of my pens that had dried up and put some new inks in them and uh, before we get started I just wanted to show you this beautiful iced tea blend um, I've been really enjoying this for the summer and I'm not sponsored or anything, but this is um, this is from Stephen Smith Tea Maker, and it's a it's a green tea. It's a jasmine tea. It's called Blackberry Jasmine. But as you can see, it it makes this really beautiful blue, and apparently it's from the pea flower. Uh, which is kind of interesting because I found out looking at some indigo dyeing that indigo is also made from a particular pea plant. <laughs> so uh, anyway, but it's really a lovely tea and it's really pretty. And if you add lemon, it actually becomes uh, purple. So uh, anyway, we'll get started. I have some inks here that I had kind of forgotten about. Um, so it'll be kind of fun to to look through those two and I will uh, be back shortly after I have a little tea. All right, so I'm going to get started now. I'm gonna continue in the same format as last time uh, in the Tomoe River paper notebook. I actually also put these in my little currently inked book um, for my own um, categorizing and remembrance of what I have in there. Uh, but for, for the display, I'm just using this paper. So. so the first one I'm going to start with is my trusty old uh, Pilot Metro. And um, I had forgotten a little bit about this one, but this is one of those, you know, really wonderful pens that writes so well and it writes every time. It's really smooth. Um, it really feels like um, very close to my 14 karat gold nib um, on my Schaefer, um, although it's a fine point. So, so I decided to actually ink this up with the uh, um, Diatramentus Document Black. And I like having one black ink so that I can, uh, you know, do some writing, some sketching, um, you know, whatever I want to address some envelopes and have it be waterproof because this is waterproof once it dries. Um, so I decided to put that in here. So this is my Pilot Metro Metropolitan. And it's inked up with Diatramentus Black. It's actually document black. Waterproof. So again, this just, oh my gosh, this is a smooth, smooth writer. It's really nice for the price. Gosh, you can't beat it. Um, I don't know what it is now. This was actually one of my first pens uh, as I started getting interested in, in uh, fountain pens. I think it was like $26 or something. Um, so yeah, it's just so smooth and so nice to write with. So, and I like having the black in this pen um, so that, you know, if I wanna do some writing that's just black, um, I can do that classic. So that's that one. The next one I had inked up and it actually wasn't dried out the other day. I just sort of forgot about it for some reason, but it is my Bennu uh, Mistletoe and it was inked up with the Ink Vent Garland. And that is such an interesting ink. Um, I'll try to see if you can see this. It has so much sheening and when you see the sheening, it's just like really bright um, red. But when you look at it, you know, from a different angle without the sheening, it is that dark green. Uh, so yeah, really interesting ink. However, I decided to change the ink in here. 
because I had kind of forgotten about some of these inks, so I decided to re revisit them. So this one is actually the Diamine Snowstorm, and it is a dark gray shimmer with lots of silver shimmer. Um, and this was a sample. So that's what I decided to put in here. I thought, oh, you know, it's a snowstorm um, shimmer that seems to go with my my little holiday winter <laughs> pen here in the middle of summer. So, <clears throat> all right, let me make sure this is in focus. Okay, I think that's all right. Okay, so this is in the Bennu. And it is Diamine Snowstorm. And yeah, it's a really dark gray. This is a you know something that's kind of nice for um, for writing too. And it has a lot of shimmer. So I'll come back to this once it's dry, but I think you can already see just really sparkly. Um, that's a lot of, of silver shimmer. So that's kind of nice too. Yeah. I forgot that I, I'm not putting the, the little blurb there. I'm not going to write the whole thing out, but just a little sample writing. Okay. All right. <clears throat> the next one is one of my Cavecos. This is a Caveco Sport Melon. And I got this actually when I was in Boulder, um, when we were, you know, staying in Boulder, Longmont area, uh, taking care of my dad a few months ago at the uh, Two Hands Paveri. And um, I decided to ink that one up with this Colorverse Brunch Date. I had kind of forgotten about this ink for sure. Um, it's kind of a brownish, pinky brown color. And it goes well with this pen. And this pen is a medium point, I forgot. Okay. <clears throat> So this is the Caveco. Wow, this is a really wet ink. Caveco Melon Sport. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> wow, this is really, this is coming out really, really wet. This is the <clears throat> Colorers. Day. <clears throat> yeah. Interesting color. So this writes well. Um, okay. <clears throat> I have a few of these Quebecos on my well, you'll see the brass here down the line. Um, and they're nice, pretty trusty pens. Okay, the next one is my Vintage Schaefer Dolphin. And these pens are just so, so nice. I got them restored. It's already been almost a year. Can't believe it. But my dad had these you know, just a collection of these over the years, and I never even knew about them. I I shouldn't say that I knew about them, but I had no interest in them when I was young. And then he remembered that he had them. So this pen, this, I'm using a cartridge, and um, gosh, I have no idea how to say that. Um, <laughs> I don't know, the moon, something moon. Um, Gosh, yeah. I wonder if that's purple. I'm not sure what it is. But anyway, these are cartridges from Airbon. And kind of, uh, well, you'll see the color. 
here. So this is my <clears throat> dolphin Schaefer. And this is a 14 karat gold nib. If I can get that in the right. And it is. Can pronounce Japanese but I have no idea how to pronounce French and it would have been very helpful <laughs> when we were in France um, which was wonderful nonetheless but anyway this is really smooth also <clears throat> this is kind of a plum maybe it means plum I don't know kind of a plum purple brown color. Oh, I should have done that. Yeah. Yeah, this is a this is a nice color. Okay. So that was the vintage Schaefer dolphin. And I looked up what year this was made and I already forget. Um I think it was like sixty two or something, nineteen sixty two. Okay, the next one I cleaned out and uh, got running well again, writing well again. But I had to put the same ink in it because I love the ink in this pen. They just go so well together. This is the Washi Tape um, Kenai fountain pen. And um, I just love this um, Edelstein, uh, Pelican Edelstein Golden Barrel in it it's you know it's just i mean they just go so well together because of the the clear um beautiful white with the gold swirls in there so that's the pen i mean that's the ink i used looking at it a little bit more closely but this ink fits this pen really well so i just had to put it back in Okay, so this is the Pelican Edelstein <clears throat> Golden Barrel. And of course, I reversed that again. It is in the washi tape pen. Kenai, Kenai Peninsula. So I like using this ink for certain things, you know, more decorative things um, or, you know, special writing, like a beautiful poem or something like that, because it is just really beautiful. It's light, but not so light that you can't read it. Um, lots of, lots of shimmer. So, yeah really like that and it just fits so well with this pen I said that three times now so yeah so that is the Kenai pen with the Edelstein golden barrel all right so next up is my Caveco brass sport <coughs> and um, this one I actually don't post usually, but these are pretty short. So, um, so this one actually, I have the sampler sample, Noodler's Cayenne, and uh, yeah, that's a just a really beautiful um, red, but nice red. I like it. It's kind of an orangey red, and so this is the. Veco brass fort and it has Noodler's Cayenne and I'm not a red ink person usually but I just really like this this particular red color my friend Doc sent it to me <clears throat> So yeah, really pretty 
really orangey red. This is a medium point. I forgot to write that in all of these. Oh, maybe it's a fine point. Actually, this is a fine point. <laughs> it's nice. It's it's fine, but it's not super fine. And you'll see in the next one uh, with an extra fine nib that it, that's just a little bit too extra fine um, for for writing really smoothly. So anyway, but these are these are nice pens. I've got a few Quebecos, and uh, it's fun to write with. <clears throat> So there's that one. So this one, I won in a giveaway um, from Inky Rocks. And it's really fun. It's, you know, it's a color, it's a swipe, Twisby swipe that doesn't come in this color in this country. So that was really fun, fun thing to win. Um, and it works really well. Um, although again, this is an extra fine nib and um, it's a little bit, a little too fine for me um, in terms of just write, writing smoothly, but it's so, it's so cool. I don't know if you can see that, um, that transparent window there, but you can see the ink in there. And the ink I chose for this, which is still the ink that I um, have in there, is the uh, Rohrer and Klinger Altgudgren, because it's just... Oh, gosh, it just fits really well. And I noticed that um, I have the Erban um, Vert Olive, which is also kind of a gold green. But this one is a little bit more mossy. It's a little bit more of a natural, what I always refer to as a natural green. And I really like that. So this is <clears throat> the Twisby. swipe and it's extra fine and it writes really well it's just that it's so fine that it you know that it is a little bit scratchy um, hopefully that's in there in there but yeah I think this ink color goes really well with this pen so I left it in there. Oop. <laughs> Supposed to say the quick brown fox, but the little brown fox. Yeah. Fun to write with. Really like that color of the ink. It it just fits this pen so well. So, fun pen. <clears throat> As with all Twisbees, you know, I think they just write every time. So, that's kind of fun. All right. And the last one, I decided I needed a blue. And I had something else inked up in this. But this is my beloved Schaefer Touchdown uh, 14 karat gold nib. It is the smoothest writer. Uh, so I decided I haven't had this ink in anything for a while, and it is my brilliant blue, um, Hiroshisuku Kompeki. It's just so gorgeous. Such a bright, beautiful, pure blue. So that is my last one. And this is the pen, and it does have a little transparent like an amber window there, but it's hard to see through it. It's pretty dark. <clears throat> it may have been lighter um, when it was first made. But anyway, wow, look at that color. Okay, so this is my Schaefer touchdown. This, you know, it just writes like butter. It's just so amazing. Uh, this is a medium point, and I put in the Hiroshi Fuku Konpeki just for let's see the picture there. Wow. 
very smooth wet rider. Yeah, I had to have one blue in this currently inked set. Yeah, there we go. All right, so once again, I have the Pilot Metropolitan with the Diatramentus Black, document black. And the Bennu has the Diamine Snowstorm. The Caveco Melon Sport has the Colorverse Brunch Date. And the Dolphin Schaefer, Schaefer Dolphin, has the Poussière de Lune. And then we got the, Pel um, the Washi Tape pen, the Kenai Peninsula pen, with the um, Edelstein Golden Barrel. That's the Pelican Edelstein Golden Barrel. Sorry about my light. It's flickering. And then the Caveco Brass Sport um, um, with the Noodler's Cayenne and the Twisby Swipe as the Roarer and Cleaner uh, Alt Goldgrün. And last but not least, we have the Schaefer Touchdown. Oh my gosh, the light. Um, and that has the Hiroshisuku Kompeki. Brilliant light, uh, turquoisey, pure blue. So yeah, so there you have those. Um, that's about it for the pens that I use um, between those and the ones that I did in the previous currently inked. I um, have a few more that need to be cleaned um, and, uh, and or ones that I don't use very much. So, um, so I will uh, be doing a journal flip here in the next week or so. And in the meantime, drinking my wonderful summer uh, black jasmine iced tea and uh, enjoying the weather. It's supposed to get um, pretty hot next week, but but I feel very blessed that we're not so hot here compared to the rest of the world, many parts of the world. So I hope you're doing well, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.